What's going on YouTube? It's your boy JMO704, man. And today is a wash and condition day for me. I'm about to condition my beard. And I figured, you know, y'all like my um, truth about entrepreneurship video. And so I figured I'd just come back and just, you know, uh, talk to you guys and just, you know, reflect on, you know, the, the video since uh, since last week or, you know, two weeks. Was it last week, two weeks ago? I don't know. But um but man, you know, that video, that video right there, um, you know, first off, I just wanna say, man, I appreciate all of the positive words and the and the feedback that y'all uh, that y'all gave me. Man, those words really, really mean a lot. And um and you know, and I just man, this uh this whole entrepreneur being an entrepreneur, you know, a self-employed, you know, thing is a freaking grind, man. Um, if y'all want to know what uh what I'm conditioning my beard with, by the way, it's a uh, classic grooming. Okay, so links down in the description if y'all wanna uh if y'all wanna try it, man. I really love their their conditioner, man. So I'm gonna put a little bit more in, and then we're just gonna chop it up for a minute. So, so yeah, man, um, I really appreciate the, the feedback, you know, the comments that y'all, that y'all left in the, in the video. And, um, man, since then, you know, it's, it's funny because, you know, a lot of the things that, like I said in the video, you know, if you want to get better, then you really got to change your mindset. I feel funny as hell talking to y'all with this conditioner and shit in my beard, but whatever. Um but uh but yeah man if if you wanna if you wanna get better man then then you gotta you gotta do things that's gonna force you to get better. So whether that's you know feeding your mind with you know different material. You know for me um I like listening to a lot of relationship kind of podcasts and stuff like that and and you know why that why that information is great and all, and you know when you see uh, how crazy the the dating landscape is nowadays. At the same time, man, those things are not necessarily feeding my mind in the way that I need them to. You know, those things are not. While they're good for uh, entertainment, you know what I'm saying. I mean, in the grand scheme of things, you know, if you want to be uh, a business owner, you want to be, you know, successful whenever it comes to YouTube or, you know, just starting your own business, then man, you know, you really got to feed your mind with things that are going to advance you rather than cause you to be in a state of, um, I, I won't, I won't say bitterness, but a little depressing to a degree, you know? Um, but so, you know, so since then, man, I've kind of switched up my whole, you know, just kind of, kind of mentality. Uh, I don't know how many of y'all listen to or watch um, Grant Cardone or any of his books, read any of his books. But, you know, if you're in business, if you're selling a product, man, I definitely think that his book is, his books are hella insightful. Um you know, I just finished the 10x rule uh, last week. Um, I got the closers. Uh, what is it? Damn, let me see. Let me get that for y'all real quick. So y'all can uh, add it to your library, man. Because, I, you know, I think it's all about all about growth. And, you know, hey, man, we, we are here to, you know, share information and help each other grow. So, um, so let's see. So what do I have in my Audible? In my Audible, I got, let's see. So right now, I am reading the Closers Survival Guide, or I'm listening to it. I what I listened to it one time last year, and I'm running it back um, for a second time. And then I also, I also just finished uh, The Psychology of Selling by Brian Tracy. Uh, fanatical prospecting. I'm a I'm gonna run that book back again because if you're in any type of sales, I mean, you gotta constantly, 
be feeding your your pipeline and just you know finding new people to talk to connect with and and all of that good stuff um let's see so i got that and um let's see what else oh um sell or be sold uh by grant cardone that's a really good book as well so if you haven't read that um or listen to that you definitely need to finish that or read that um be assessed or be average by grant cardone that's a really good book too the art of closing the sale by brian tracy um let's see outliers by malcolm gladwell i got about three hours left on that book um i kind of stopped reading that one just because of the simple fact that it was it was cool kind of starting off but then i you know i don't know i kind of fell off with that but um but yeah man i told myself that you know one goal for me this year is I want to at least read about 60 books, um, 60 books this year. Um, they'll probably more than likely be in the form of uh, audio books just because of, you know, the lifestyle I kind of live. Um, it's just easier for me to, you know, just listen to some, to some audio books. Um, you know, one thing that I started doing too is, uh, you know, just writing my goals down every day. Um, so, you know, I wake up in the mornings, uh, super early and that's usually the first thing I do is just write down my goals, you know, just trying to start the day off on a positive note. Um, then from there, you know, I go work out and, uh, and then I, I get my day started, man. So, you know, of course, I mean, I'm still doing Uber, um, but you know, but I really do want to ramp up my personal training, man. So I've been really consistent, you know, with trying to connect with new people that I can help, um, you know, people that, you know, giving out, uh, free, free materials, man. And, uh, and man, Hey, I might, I might, I might well go ahead and promote my stuff on here, you know? Nah, but if you are looking for a trainer, Hey man, Hey, the link, the link is down in the description, but, um, but nah, man, I just wanted to come on here, just chop it up with y'all. Um, like I say, last week, man, was a just a profound day, man. And one of my homeboys, uh, he sent me this video uh, by Master P. I'm a, I'm gonna put it up here, man. And uh, and I really think that that describes, you know, the the life of an entrepreneur, man. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and play that real quick. Don't let the rain stop you. A little water ain't gonna hurt you. I know people only want to be around you in the sunshine. What about when it rain? Where they at? They can't see your vision, your dreams, your goals. I done planted so many seeds. It's growing now. It only grow because of water. So don't let this water stop you. While they sleep, while they in their house chilling, we working, we getting better. We got bigger vision. I ain't doing no more small business. I plant big seeds. It's all big business from here. And the rain can't stop me. The water can't stop me. This is where I grow my trees at. You know, and it's, and, it, and it's funny that, um, you know, everybody, man, it's so, it's so easy, you know, whenever things are just, just going right, everything is going in your direction. But then what about the days when, you know, you don't feel like getting out of bed, the days that, um, you know, you, you haven't done the things that you needed to do to progress further, the days that you feel like, man, things are just not happening soon enough, quick enough for me. Um, you know, those days where, uh, man, you got a whole lot to do on your to-do list, but then, you know, you have some crazy life circumstances which just totally you know, just kind of flip things upside down for you. Uh, man, I w I'll say, you know, this past week, you know, it's been, it's been a lot, you know. Um, some things I don't, I might, I might share at a later, at a later time. I don't know if I necessarily want to, want to share right now. I mean, if, you know, if you want to hit me up in the DMs on, uh, on Instagram, you know, I'd definitely be more than happy to, to share some of those things, but, but uh, I don't know if I necessarily want to share that on YouTube quite yet. But um, but either way, man, you know, uh, for me, I'm just trying to stay uh, consistent, trying to stay motivated, trying to stay positive. Um, 
you know, one thing that one gem from uh, Grant Cardone's book, you know, I can't remember if it was sell or be sold or um, be obsessed or be average, but he mentioned that, you know, there is an abundance among us everywhere. And I'm not, you know, <laughs> y'all take it for what y'all will. All right. I, th I thought the shit really, you know, kind of resonated with me. But anyway, so, in um, and he explains it so much better, but I'll just put it in my own words. All right, so let me get to it. So, in the book, he mentioned, he gave an analogy, right, where, you know, the, the world is full of abundance. I mean, when you think about it each and every day, there's transactions being made, there's money being made, there's new millionaires, even in the economic times that we're in, you know, there are people who are survive not only surviving, but thriving out here and there's no lack of abundance out here for each and every one of us and he said that you know think about if you were to go to the Atlantic Ocean and you know you went out there with a bucket of water and you went out there with as many buckets as you wanted and just filled up that bucket and just took as much water with you as possible you know and um and then at the end of it, I mean, does it does it even look like you made a dent in the ocean? And he compared that to, you know, just there's an overabundance out here, but it's just a matter of, you know, are you willing to, you know, do the things that are necessary in order to get the things that it is that you are looking to achieve, man? And I really thought that that really kind of hit home for me, man. So I wanted to share that. Share that with y'all. Um, so yeah, man. Uh, so, you know, this condition has been sitting here for a minute and I'm gonna go ahead and rinse it out, man. But I just wanted to come on here and um, just chop it up with y'all real quick. Uh, let me know what y'all think down in the comments, man. Um, you know, where are you at along your entrepreneurial journey? Um, you know, what are some what are some gems that you've learned along the way? Um, you know, drop drop some of those gems, man, um, down in the comments so that we can all, you know, just just receive them and and um, and take them on about about our day, man. So uh, if you like the video, if, if you like these kind of talks, man, let me know down in the comments, because, you know, one thing one thing that I think that, um, you know, isn't necessarily shown enough or talked about enough it are those initial stages of entrepreneurship when you're really just trying to figure this shit out whenever you're really like man do I you know go back to to what I know and just give up on on my dreams you know and um and what's the what's the thought process what's the what are the thoughts you know and documenting it from from the beginning man so you know I don't know where I'm gonna be uh, here within the next year or two or five, you know, but I at least want to document the journey and um, and see where I'm at, you know, right here in the, in this phase and be able to come back and, and watch these videos here within the next year or so and see what kind of progress I've made. And, and, um, and hopefully, man, I'm in a, in a better situation than, than I'm in this year. Cause I'm telling you, <laughs> This shit is hard, man. But with that being said, um, you know, if there's anything that you want to do, man, and I'm preaching this to myself, uh, it, it definitely requires some patience. You got to be patient in this. It requires some consistency, man. And, um, and I'm trying my hardest to be consistent. And more importantly, which I'm trying to mm, think, man. It don't happen overnight. So, see y'all on the next video. Peace.